catch them all <laughs> What's up guys, Buck Nation Gaming here. Just wanted to do a follow-up video on my previous video with what you see on your screen right now. We'll go ahead and zoom in on that so you can see it. It's the K mode exception not handled. I know I got some people uh, in the comments section hitting me up asking me, you know, what if I'm stuck in the loop? If you're stuck in the loop, what you'll have to do is just reset your PC uh, to get out of that loop. Unfortunately, the update has already gotten into your PC to where it's just going to consistently keep hitting that restart loop until uh, HP comes out with a fix for this the only fix to get out of that loop if you're needing your PC back is to reset your PC I will show you how to do that um, so that way you can basically get out of this screen um, mixed a little bit with this screen it's kind of hard for me to show you some of this stuff because I think I permanently fixed my current issue uh, with the video that I posted uh, before. I'll definitely link that into the uh, description below and also link that video at the end of this video if you just want to click on it. Uh, going on to HP's uh, software or going on to their site and downloading, redownloading the BIOS software to my PC. Um, I've ran for 48 hours now with this PC without having this loop. Um, so hopefully that stays as a fix. I will fully confirm that if this continues on uh, without you know putting me back in the loop but I wanted to show you guys this so we are going to minimize these two and in order to get out of the loop once you come back to this screen uh, when you first come in right before the loop happens you're going to want to click on your windows go to power options you're going to want to hold the left shift key on your keyboard down and hit restart uh, I can't currently do that because I don't have my PC set up to where I can do that um, and actually restart it. It'll end my recording. So let me just look over here real quick. I pulled up the wrong one. And I'll look real quick and get the one pulled up for you. So as soon as you do that, it's going to pop up options for you such as... this when you come back to your screen once you get to this um, so you'll have choose an option exit and continue to Windows reset your PC or use advanced options troubleshoot or then turn off your PC so you're going to want to select troubleshoot you're going to want to go to advanced options once you get to advanced options you're going to want to go to startup settings and under startup settings it's going to say restart to change Windows options such as you'll click restart That'll help you get through the loop a little bit like longer, so you won't be looping over and over again like every 30 seconds to 5 minutes. Once you get to that, I will minimize the screen and pull up. Once you get to that and your system loads back up, you're going to see this pop up. And what you want to do is you'll want to hit F5 to do the uh, enable safe mode with networking. If that makes you go back into the loop, just go into F4 and do just enable safe mode. But try enable safe mode with networking first to see if that will get you out of the loop long enough for you to go download those BIOS files. Now as soon as you get done with this step and it loads you back in, immediately go to uh, HP support. Let me load that up for you real quickly just so you can see exactly where uh, to get sorry about that I had to type it in so you can see exactly where to get the BIOS at because like I said that's in my opinion the lifesaver that helped me out to where I can actually continue to use my HP uh, desktop my, my Omen and continue to do this so I've got the screen pulled up now and you're going to, like I said, want to go to softwares and drivers like we did before, basically. And um, you'll tell them that you got a desktop. I always do the let them detect my PC for me um, just to make it a little bit easier on me to not have to go down there and get the serial number off of my Omen. So, yeah, you'll click on it. And it says BIOS file right here. This is the file that I downloaded that has uh, prevented my PC from having that 
uh, K mode exception not handled. So you want to download this as soon as you can. Also, if you see any of these others that you want to try to download, if it's already installed, it won't over like it'll either overwrite it to where um, you have the latest version, or it'll completely take that old software or uh, uh, download out and put the new one in. So definitely. Uh, you want to actually do this. I would recommend, you know, once a month come back and check because if you look at the release dates, that's what I was saying in the previous video too. Um, if you see any of these that are freshly released and your PC hasn't installed them, go ahead and install them. This is from your, like, this is from HP directly. So they're not going to put anything in here that's going to be bad for your PC. I know that's a little, that could be a little hard to believe since they technically just put out an update that's crashing everybody's, like, PCs. But to my knowledge on any other, like, PC and product. If you pull the um, software and drivers updates directly from their main web page, you won't have to worry about anything. So I hope this guys help. I hope this helps you guys out and gets you out of that looping uh, for the K mode exception not handled. If it definitely helped you out, give us a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button to stay tuned for future updates about this through HP and other things as well. If you guys have any suggestions on any computer problems that you're per, uh, currently having or that you've experienced in the past, or if you have any in the future and you wanna know how to fix it, just leave me a comment in my comment section on one of my videos and I'll definitely uh, try to, hope, hopefully if you leave it on one of these videos, I'll see it really easily. If you leave it on one of my other gaming videos, uh, you know, some of those get pretty, popular with comments so hopefully uh, you'll throw it on one of these videos and not one of those so that way I have a better chance of seeing it if uh, I do see your comment and it's something that I can either research and find a fix for or I currently know how to fix it I will definitely make a video on how to fix that for you so I can get that problem resolved hope you guys stay awesome hope you stay wonderful and I will see you next episode